Charlotte Cofield has lived in Silver Spring for more than 80 years, and she says she remembers it as a segregated place where blacks couldn't even eat at the same restaurants as whites. We could not go in dress shops and try on clothes. We couldn't try on hats. If you handled it, you had to buy it. Which is why she was shocked by a mural in Silver Springs Acorn Park. I noticed that uh, they had black people there and white people standing in line to catch the train. But 1941, that would not have happened. And that's why she signed a petition addressed to the Parks Department asking for a change in the signage. Her signature is one of dozens from residents asking the Parks Department to tell Silver Springs history in ways that don't ignore racism. Local historian David Rottenstein agrees. If you walk through Silver Spring and read the heritage tour signs or look at the, the buildings that are preserved by the Historic Preservation Commission, they tell a very sanitized story that focuses and celebrates the, the white supremacist who built Silver Spring while not telling the story of the black experience throughout Silver Spring's history. When my MC Media contacted the Montgomery Parks Department, a spokesperson responded that they welcome public participation in future public meetings and the department is working to create a plan that reflects the interests and desires of all stakeholders. Ms. Cofield hopes signs and images are more accurate in the future. I think there should be clarification and inclusion of the African com community and the African American uh, people who participated in the building of Silver Spring. In Silver Spring, I'm Mitty Hicks for my MC Media.